We're going to be practicing what we've learned so far. This is practicing addition, lesson 11.4. So far we have learned to keep our digits in the correct place value column, to regroup if we need to, and sometimes mental math is faster than using a calculator. We've learned we can use basic addition facts to add hundreds, and we've learned to label our answers for word problems and to look for clue words to help us choose the correct operation. There's going to be links to these videos in this video's description, so you can just go right to them, all right, if you haven't seen them yet. So here we have a word problem. Dave has 138 sheep. Bob has 186 sheep. How many sheep do they have all together? Well, the first thing we need to do for a word problem is identify the important numbers. Dave has 138 sheep. Bob has 186 sheep. Then we need to look for clue words that tell us which operation to use, and I see the clue word altogether, and that tells us we need to add. We're going to add 138 plus 186. We add the ones and regroup if needed. We have 8 plus 6, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We regroup the 1 to the tens place and write the 4 from the 14 in the ones place. We add the tens and regroup if needed. We start with the large number 8 and then count up 9, 10, 11, 12. We regroup the 1 and put the 2 from the 12 down here. And now we just add the hundreds, 1, 2, 3. That gives us 324 and we make sure we label our answer. 324 what? 324 sheep. That's what they have all together. See? Let's see if we can add these. Using what we've learned, we have 328 plus 127. We start with the ones place. 8 plus 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We regroup the 1 from the 15 into the tens place and write the 5 in the ones place. We add the tens place, 2 and 2 is 4 and 1 is 5, and we add the hundreds, 3 plus 1 is 4. We have 455. Let's try it again. We start with the ones place, 7 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We regroup the 1 and put the other 1 in the ones place. We add the tens place, starting with the larger number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We regroup the 1, put the 2 down, and we add the hundreds, 4, 5, 6, 621. Okay, let's try this. It says, write in vertical form, then add. What does vertical form mean? Well, vertical form means they want us to stack them on top of each other like that. Okay? Vertical is going straight up and down. All right? Horizontal is going across. This is horizontal. This is sentence form. They want us to write it in vertical form so it's stacked like that. Okay? So let's do that. We have to make sure we keep our place values straight. Okay? We add the ones, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We regroup the 1, put the 4 down. We add the 10s. 4 plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, 8. That gives us an 8. And we add the 100, 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. We have 684. Okay? So we know the answer is 684. Okay? Let's try this one. We need to write it in vertical form and then add. So let's make sure we keep our columns nice and straight. Six plus four is 10. We regroup the one and put the zero down. We add the tens, eight, nine, 10. We add the hundreds. Three plus three is six, plus one more is seven. And we have 700. And it's really important to keep your columns straight what if I did this? See, 
See? It'd be hard to add it, wouldn't it? It's like it's all in the wrong place. So you want to make sure that you have all your columns lined up nice and straight, nice and pretty, okay? Let's try this one. And this one will really explain what I'm talking about. We need to write it in vertical form and then add. So we start with the 479. And we need to add 95. So where is a 9 going to go here? Or, I mean, what do we do? Well, remember, a 95 means there are 5 1s and 9 10s, right? And that's the 1s place. So that's where the 5 is going to go, into the 1s place. And there's nine tens in a 95, so the nine is going to go in the tens place. See? There's no hundreds here, right? So the 95 is going to be written like that under the tens and ones of the 479. Now we can add it. Nine plus five is nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can actually look at this as the five is a four plus one. You can do this when you're adding in your head. So we can add the 9 plus the 1 to get a 10, and then add the 4. So we end up doing 10 plus 4. See? That helps us do mental math quicker. So it's 14. Now, we can look at these numbers and say, well, you know what? A 9 and a 1 makes a 10. So these are compatible, aren't they? The 9 and the 1 are compatible numbers that make a 10, and then we can add the 7, and that's 17. That's a lot easier than adding 9 plus 7 and then adding the 1, see? So we look for 10s. Here's 10, 9 and 1. Then we add the 7, we have 17. We regroup the 1, put the 7 down. 4 plus 1 is 5, we get 574, see? There's all different ways to add numbers. There's all different ways to solve problems, okay? All right, let's try this one. We have 572 and we need to add 49. So to make sure we put the 49 in the correct place values, we know that means four tens and nine ones, right? So we need it to go in that place value, four tens and nine ones. Now we can add, there's no hundreds here, see? There's no hundreds there. Now we add the ones place first, nine, 10, 11. We regroup the one, put the one down. We add the tens, seven, eight, and four is 9, 10, 11, 12, we regroup the 1, put the 2 down, and 5 plus 1 is 6, 621, okay? So when you're adding a three-digit number to a two-digit number, ask yourself, where's the ones place, where's the tens place, so you know to line it up with the three-digit number, okay? You might even have it turned around so that you're adding 49 plus 572 at the bottom. This is okay too. There's problems like this where the smaller number is on the top. It's okay. This is the ones, this is the tens, this is the hundreds. And that's what you add together, okay? So you'll come across problems like that. It's no big deal. You could do it, all right? We're going to start getting into subtracting hundreds and we're going to be using our basic math facts, okay? So just remember, if you missed any of these videos, this playlist goes in order from the beginning of the school year to the end of the school year, and these are all things that we've learned so far. So if you've missed them, you can click on the description to watch them. And maybe you can watch all the videos after that in order so that you have help during the school year, okay? All right. I hope you hit the like button if this video helped you. And I'll see you next video. Bye.